recording the video so what is federation so federation is uh, uh, for example uh, let me get the whiteboard then i will explain okay let me get my tablet and i will be whiteboarding and i will explain so i'm starting now so uh, let us see first the typical configuration uh, uh, let us understand what is name node and what is secondary name node and then i will tell you um, uh, what is uh, federation okay so in a typical hadoop cluster you have a bunch of data nodes and you have a bunch of files in them so this is one file these are blocks related to one file okay and then there can be let's think this way uh, these oranges one are multiple files related to uh, files or blocks related to one data set and uh, these uh, orange these pink ones you cannot see i am okay i am not sharing the screen okay i, I got it thank you so yeah so this big green rectangle is is cluster of data nodes i haven't started drawing name nodes yet and these uh, small uh, blue rec blue squares are uh, data nodes okay and then these orange ones represent blocks for one data set when i say data set it could be one file it could be a number of files and the uh, this other color i i am not very sure about the names of the colors this other colors other color uh, is another data set which is nothing but blocks related to the files related to one um, data set okay we can think like this this one is hr data and uh, this one is let's say finance data or manufacturing data okay so we we have manufacturing data and hr data sitting together on um, on the same set of data nodes okay and then you have one name node uh, let me mute you there is a noise popping up okay you muted yourself thank you so so now you have uh, i'm drawing the name node and second name node this is uh, name node and secondary name node so what name node will contain it will contain uh, the metadata of these files the name of the file mapped to the uh, block uh, id and block location for each file in this manufacturing data there will be um, um block ids and block locations and also for each file in hr data set you you will f uh, you will have block id assigned and the block lo location assigned to it so this information will be stored in in memory component of name node and also uh, wh while the changes are happening the those changes will go to edit log and fs image right so edit log will keep track of the changes as it is happening in the name node but fs image will will create uh, will be a snapshot of, of a given point in time uh, so that uh, the edit log size will not uh, grow up uh, um, abnormally because edit log will need to keep track of every change that is happening whereas for snapshot you don't need to keep track of all the changes that are happening you just need to have the snapshot of a given point in time 
so fs images uh, image size is l- l- relatively lower compared to uh, having uh, uh, one edit log for the entire uh, time frame uh, since the name node is started um, if you merge um, if you maintain a snapshot at regular intervals that snapshot will be smaller in size so to restore and uh, recover first we uh, when we start the cluster in safe mode it will restore the fs image and then it will recover using edit log okay that's how name node will be recovered and uh, the the merging of the edit logs into fs image and creating new fs image is done by secondary name node that is the typical hadoop cluster now um, for for smaller clusters up to 200 300 even 800 thousand nodes one name node is good enough if you have 128 gb ram you can have uh, um, millions of entries in the memory itself uh, so it will work but if we have uh, terabytes of ta- data and billions of uh, billions or trillions of uh, 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 of uh, blocks or block entries then the name node will get contention name node will work uh, i mean this this setup will work as long as your uh, memory uh, sorry your block entries of, or metadata of your uh, files fit into this uh, 128 gb if it goes beyond that um, y- you you might uh, start getting some um, uh, means out of memory issues which is very serious uh, so it's uh, we we cannot just scale up if you instead of 128 gb ram if you try to go with 256 gb or 512 gb the cost of your, of your name node will go up significantly and also on on, a, on such a large cluster okay if there is issue on one data set whatever the issue it is if there is issue on one data set with this setup it will affect all other data sets for example if there is issue in manufacturing data set it will affect um, uh, if manufacturing data set is causing some issue to name node it will impact hr uh, uh, applications also so you know, so to make the hadoop cluster uh, more uh, uh, reliable and uh, multi tenant and also to load balance uh, they come up with a co- concept called um, ha- uh federation okay hdfs federation is different from high availability uh, so uh, in in federated cluster what the way it will look like is instead of having one name node and one secondary name node so first the data nodes will be same you will have say same set of data nodes you, the files will be distributed in the similar manner uh, when only one name node is there but the metadata so you have one name node for uh, uh, manufacturing and uh, one name node for hr okay so this is manufacturing name node this is hr name node so we will give the na- something called namespaces will be created and as part of the name uh, namespace we will say uh, we will give the name manufacturing hr etc that's where we will specify the names of for the for the name node so now what will happen is this manufacturing name node will only store the metadata related to its data and uh, hr name node will store uh, data related to hr it it does not store data uh, metadata related to manufacturing and vice versa okay so now uh, namespace or name node are same you can uh, uh, think like that if you give a name to the uh, to the name node it is called as namespace okay uh, so here um, uh, you have manufacturing name node you have uh, hr name node hr name node will have metadata about its own data set and uh, manufacturing name node will have uh, a metadata about its own data set okay and uh, and then for each of these name nodes you will have the you, you can configure either secondary name node or high availability it's your choice 
so right now you have one name node for manufacturing one name node for hr but you have to again create fs image uh, and and also edit logs will be generated for each of these name nodes hence you need to add uh, a secondary name node for this one or passive name node you it's up to you which which type of configuration you want to do okay so this is hdfs federation hdfs federation is dividing um, uh, the uh, is dividing and creating the namespace for each uh, data set in a department typically you will not have three uh, more than three or four it will be at a very higher level uh, you will divide into multiple namespaces uh, typically you should not have more than three or four and uh, it's not very typical also means uh, only companies like yahoo when they have the clusters more than 4000 4, 5000 nodes then only they will set up the hdfs federation but setting up is not that difficult uh, but there will be some side effects when you set up you have to uh, revisit a lot of other stuff and you, you have to uh, take care of those things but as the tools have evolved um, as the technology evolves, the, those effects are addressed automatically. When I say effect, um, uh, when you, uh, for like, I am giving an example, when you create Hive table, uh, Hive table's metadata will be stored in, uh, in a relational database. And when it's stored in a relational database, it will have the URL of the name node. Whatever it is in coreside.xml, that entry will be there as the uh, met, uh, 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 to, to represent from which name node we are creating this hive table okay so when you change when you uh, change your cluster to typical name node configuration to high availability or even uh, to hdfs federation uh, as the location was referring to the uh, uh, to the single name node uh, uh, configuration uh, whatever is then coreside.xml uh, in in older versions of uh, Cloudera or Hortonworks, it it used to not to refresh that metadata, and hence sometimes you will be able to access the table, sometimes you will not be able to access the table. So there are some side effects when you change on the existing tools, but now as the technologies started evolving, those side effects goes down, and you have to go through the documentation about to set up process and whatever they tell you have to take care when you change from typical configuration to uh, high availability or federation configuration so there are few questions i'm okay now yeah uh, no ratan ratan uh, is asking question in typical hdp cluster what is default time to merge edit log to fs image it is one hour or one million transactions so whichever happens first one one million or hundred thousand i don't remember on top of my head uh, let me uh, see the documentation real quick uh, one hour. yeah one hour is by time and also there is a uh, uh, number of transactions also so if there are too many transactions in the name node uh, even then uh, it will uh, try to uh, merge the edit log into the fs image Okay, so I do not remember that. I will. Re uh, you can refer to the documentation. There are parameters um, which we, uh, to uh, to control those things. Whichever happens first. Uh, uh, so if 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 within one hour uh, after thirty five minutes or forty minutes, if it reaches that number of transactions, again uh, it will do the merge, even though one hour is not passed. So there are two thresholds. Whichever happens first, it will do the. Uh, uh, it will do the uh, merge process okay so let me mute okay he is muted already so and also ratan have questions in typical hdp cluster what is default time to merge i already answered that we are talking about mrv2 uh, when we talk about data federation uh, so namespace so first uh, namespace is nothing but giving a name to the name node there is nothing uh, physical about it it's it's uh, as we have to give some name uh, uh, to the metadata when you have multiple uh, name nodes the namespace comes into picture okay otherwise it is name node only and then uh, we are not talking about mrv2 but data federation is part of H, uh, 
Hadoop 2. Hadoop 2, from HDFS perspective, you have data federation and high availability. Uh, from uh, MapReduce perspective, you have YARN and MR2. Okay.